Now let's move on to Article 19.1G, Freedom of Profession. In the earlier times, there was a division of labor based on caste. People had little to no freedom to work in a profession outside of their caste. Another section of citizens that was not allowed to have a freedom of profession was women. Based on such a background, it was felt necessary to make freedom of profession a fundamental right in order to build a society based on modern democratic ideals. According to this right, all citizens are given the right to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business. Owing to this freedom, today, son of an auto driver can become an IAS officer and daughter of a business tycoon can pursue her passion for singing. According to Article 19 Clause 6, there is only one ground on which a reasonable restriction can be imposed on this right, in the interest of general public. Now, freedom of profession does not mean you can just go out there and prescribe medicines for COVID. You need to be qualified to do so. The state is empowered to prescribe professional or technical qualifications necessary for practicing any profession. There are some sectors in which the state can prohibit the common citizens. The state is also empowered to carry on by itself any trade, business, industry or service. The state can do so either in competition with other private companies or as a monopoly. The state maintains a monopoly mostly in strategic sectors like space, nuclear energy, etc. Note that the state is not required to justify its monopoly. This right also does not include the right to carry on a profession, business, trade or occupation that is immoral or dangerous. The state can prohibit these or regulate them through licensing.